Hello, my name is David Stein, and this is my project for ECE-285 ECP circuit design project number one. The circuit is a sound level meter. When I started putting the, together the components for this idea, I just figured it would be a microphone attached to an op amp that would amplify the signal uh, connected to an LED for an output. However, when I bought the microphone initially, uh, I didn't have a lot of information about it. The data sheet that came with it uh, basically just said, provide this input voltage and this current. Uh, it didn't provide any information about how it actually worked. What I was expecting when I started experimenting with it was that it would work something like this, where it has just an input pin and an output pin. If you just feed it the input voltage that it's supposed to get, uh, you should get an output pin voltage that varies uh, with magnitude uh, just based on the volume level that it's detecting. To my surprise, it actually worked a little bit differently. Instead, the input voltage remains uh, at this very high level uh, with fluctuation based on the magnitude of the volume that it's detecting, and the output pin voltage remains uh, zero. So this required a little bit of redesign uh, in terms of trying to figure out how to extract that very small signal from the very large input voltage. So the circuit works like this. Uh, it gets an input voltage that is fed into the input pin of the microphone, and the output pin then simply goes to ground. The input pin voltage is then fed into uh, the op amp design uh, configured as a differentiating, amp differentiating amplifier. So it first goes into a capacitor that acts as a high pass filter, it takes out that low pass, uh, the steady component, and then the output uh, is fed into the input pin of the op amp. The op amp generates a, an amplified signal, which is then fed into a uh, bridge rectifier. The bridge rectifier takes this uh, amplified uh, alternating current signal that we have and turns it into a direct current signal. Uh, that, of course, is then provided into the LED for feedback. So if we connect a battery to it, When we initially connect the battery, the LED comes on very bright because the capacitor is getting this surge of uh, voltage and it has no stored charge, so it initially has to charge up. But once it is fully charged, then we can give the microphone a little bit of uh, volume. We can, for instance, blow on it, or we can sort of scrape it like this. Uh, we can blow on it very hard to get the LED to light up uh, very brightly. And we see that this functions as a sound level meter as we had hoped. So this is my ECP project one. Thank you for watching.